What is an electric dipole and how do you calculate the electric field? That's what we're doing. I'm going to do this as quick as possible, but let's just see what happens. Okay, so an electric dipole is when you have two charges of equal and opposite value, so a plus Q and a minus Q, separated by some distance S. So the total charge of this uh, dipole is zero because there's a positive Q and a negative Q and they, they, they cancel but it still makes an electric field. Okay, so here I have an example of a negative Q and a positive Q at the origin, centered at the origin, uh, a distance S apart. So I'm gonna find the electric field over here on the X axis. So let's just think, what? how would I do that? Well, I could calculate the electric field due to the positive charge and then calculate the electric field due to the negative charge and then add them up. So that's what I have right here. So this positive, I'm calling the electric field due to the positive charge E plus, right here, this arrow. So it's positive charge, and you'll notice that this arrow is bigger than the negative charge. Because look right here, here's my positive charge, and here's my point of interest. And that distance is, let's say, R minus S over 2, because I don't go all the way over to here to the origin, because the charge is shifted over. So this is a smaller distance than the negative charge. The negative charge has a distance of from here all the way over to here, so it adds that S over 2. So there are different distances, so they have different magnitudes and directions of electric field. When I add those together, I get that. Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to do this, and then we want to calculate the electric field at different locations and see what happens. Okay, so switch this right here. Boom. We're going to use this Python. Okay, so I've already got uh, I'm going to do this first the easiest way. I want to calculate, let's say, calc E at x equals, I'm just going to say 0 0.5, 0 0.5 meters. That's a comment. Okay, so let's just do this a simple way. So the first thing we're going to do is I have two charges. Uh, I have one at s over 2 on the x direction and negative s over 2. And one has a positive charge and one has a negative. So we want to calculate the electric field due to both of those. So let's just say this, R plus is the location of the positive charge and it's going to be uh, the vector S over two, zero, zero. So I already have S over here as 0.01 and the charge is four nanocoulombs. And then K is my uh, constant for electricity. So that's my uh, positive charge. My negative charge is R minus, I'm just making this up and that's going to be negative s over 2, 0, 0. And then my observation location is going to be R, O, and it's going to be equal to vector uh, 0.5, 0, 0. So it's on the x-axis. So the first thing I'm going to do is calculate E plus. So E plus, I need to calculate, this is, this is do it in one step. E, P. It's going to be K times Q times, now I need the, I guess I should do this. No, I already have, no I do. Okay, let's, let's call this, uh, let's get this vector R. So let's say R1. It's going to be the observation location, which is RO, minus the positive charge. Now I need to find uh, R1 hat, R1, oh, not H1, R1 hat equals norm R1, R2 hat, R, R1 mag equals mag R1. So this just finds the unit vector for R, that vector, and this is the magnitude of that vector. So then I can calculate uh, R1 hat divided by R1 mag squared. And let's print this out. E plus equals E P. Because it's good to, to run it and print something so you can see if it's working. Okay, so that seems reasonable. Okay, so we're, I'm happy. And now let's do the same thing. Calc E minus. So I'm going to say R2 is R Z R O minus R M. Now I need R2 hat, R2 mag, and then I can calculate 
the electric field E minus is going to be equal to negative K times Q times R2 hat divide, yeah, divided by R1 mag squared. So you'll notice here this minus sign I have to put in because I'm using just one Q. And so this one has a positive Q, this has a negative Q, so that's why that negative sign's there. But let's print it out. E minus equals. Okay, so you'll notice here things are working because the negative charge has an electric field in the negative x direction and it has a smaller value than the positive charge. So that's good. That seems like it's working. Now I can say uh, E equals EP plus EM and then print E equals E. And let's put the units because come on. There you go. And now maybe maybe we just want the magnitude. Okay, we could just do this. Magnitude of E. Which it's easy in this case. Done. Okay. Now what if I want to change the location? I want to say move it closer to the dipole. I just change this to point two. I can put this wherever I want. I can change that to wherever I want. Okay. So that's the simplest way to do it. Uh, it doesn't show anything. But I want to actually display these things. So let's put some, you don't have to, but I'm going to. Okay, so I'm going to delete this. It's all gone. Look at that. Boom, gone. Okay, so now I'm going to say QP equals sphere. Position equals vector. S over 2, 0, 0. And then I'm going to say the radius is, let's say I'm at 0.1 apart. So let's say 0 0.05. And let's say it's positive, uh, 0, 0, 0.05. It's positive, so let's call it red. And let's run it. It's nice to run it just to make sure things work. So there's my sphere. Now I'm going to make a negative charge. QM sphere position equals vector negative S over 2, 0, 0. Radius is the same. Color is cyan. It just shows up better. There's my dipole. Look at that. Two charges. I can zoom in, I can rotate around. I don't know why you want to do that, but you could. Okay, now I need to do something else. What is the charge of these two things? I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. So QP.Q equals equals Q and QM.Q equals negative Q. That's just, that's just for me. Now let's say uh, the observation location is another sphere and it's at the vector, what did I say? Uh, 0.500 zero, zero. and let's make it smaller so it has a radius of 0 0.001 okay so that's kind of far away to see let's put it at uh, 0 0.3 there it is right there so there's my dipole and there's my, well, where I want to find the electric field now I'm going to do the same thing so now I'm going to calc EP so first I'm going to say, uh, now I can say RP, the, the vector from the positive charge to the point of location is going to be the observation position minus QP dot position. So these, instead of saying R, ob, ob dot POS is the vector location of that observation. That is this vector, it's 0 .300. 0. And QP dot POS is this value right here. You can print that out if you want, just to make sure that I'm not crazy. Print RP. See, there you go. Check that. Okay, now I can calculate uh, RP hat equals norm. RP. RP mag equals mag RP. Uh, and now I can calculate EP equals K times qp.q times rp hat divided by rp mag squared. And let's print it. Just make sure things are working. That's what we do. Okay. 
So if we can put this at uh, 0 0.5. We already know what the answer was. We did it before. Okay, the same thing. Okay, but you can't. The display doesn't look as good. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that. Now I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Copy, paste, minus, m. See how I'm doing this? It's the same calculation. Why not just copy and paste it? Change all the p's to m's, or retype it. Whatever makes you happy. It's important to be happy when you're doing this. I don't have to put the negative sign here because I'm going to say qm.q, which is already negative. Let's run it. Then you can make typos. So that's what we had before. Okay. Now e equals ep plus em print e. There we go. I think that's what I had before. I hope it is. Okay, but I'm not going to do that. Now I'm going to say uh, I want to display the electric field as a vector arrow. So I have a magnitude of 5, and I don't want it to be that big. So let's say uh, I'm going to make this E scale. I want, the, I want the arrow to be, let's say, in this case, uh, 0.1 long. So I'm going to say uh, 0 0.1. Oh, I should try. I should. Let's let's print this. Let's print this magnitude because I don't want to change that. And then I'll put this up here. Okay, so the magnitude. Oh, I knew that. Five point seven. Okay, so let's put the e scale up here. So let's say zero point one divided by five point seven. Now I'm going to make e arrow equals arrow, and the location of this arrow is going to be position is the observation location and the axis is going to be E scale times E and the color is going to be yellow. I don't know why I always make electric fields yellow and let's run it. Boom there you go there's my electric field. Now wait let's make it even better let's move my observation location closer and run it. Run. It's even bigger. Okay. What if I put, let's make this scale a little bit smaller. Okay, what if I put the observation location right here? Uh, let's, let's look right here. No, that's not it. This is it. No, that's not it. No, okay. This is it. What if I'm right here? then this is going to make an electric field going down, this is going to make one going up, and they're going to cancel so that it only goes this way to the left. So let's do that. Let's put the observation location right on the y-axis. So I'm just going to say uh, 0, 0.3. Oh, not divided by 3, 0.3. Check that out. So there's my dipole and my electric field is going to the left. As I move it closer, let's say 0.2, but it's not as big. It's half as big, in fact, as it was. So it's getting bigger, moving closer. Okay. So you can. What about if I put it over here at negative uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.2? So let's put this at negative 0 0.2, 0.2. Now the electric field's going in that way. You can move this location wherever you want, and kind of get a feel for what this electric field looks like around here. You can actually make multiple arrows. Uh, at the same time. So I can, I can, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to make this longer than it already is. I do want to do one other thing. Let's move back over here to on the x axis and let's print out the electric field, the magnitude. So 44. Okay. Now there. Oh, let's. No, I want. I want it on the x-axis. It's gonna be twice that. Yeah. Okay. So there is another way. We'll call this e approx equals k times two times q times s divided by r cubed. So where this is gonna be uh, the magnitude of obs.pos 
cubed. This is the approximate value for the electric field due to a dipole on that axis. So let's print this out. Print, let's pray, print. E exact equals E mag, put the units in there, Newtons per coulomb, and let's print E approx equals E approx. Newton, Newton per coulomb. And I made a mistake. What did I do wrong? E exact dot mag is not a function. E, where'd I have E exact? E approx. Print E mag on something's oh with this aha uh -huh. got it so you see they're very close but what if I change my observation location to be something really close like point one. Not as close. What if I change this to uh, 0 0.05? It start getting more further apart. So this approximation only works when you're further away. But that's one way to do it. If you want to approximate the electric field on the on the y-axis, the, the two wouldn't be there. Okay, that was as quick as I could possibly make it. I'm sorry it took so long. I hope that made sense. The end. <laughs>